Well, this is suspicious, isn't it? Light if Freight, hold on, didn't Comptra say they don't ever have any plans on actually releasing the Light of Freight? The data was in the game for years. They never had any plans on releasing him. Now, now another game comes along that a lot of people start playing from Summoner's War because there's no new Summoner's War content. Comptra's like, oh, crap! Light of Freight, give him Light of Freight, give him Light of Freight, give him Light of Freight, give it to him, give it to him. This is what happens when we have, this is what I was trying to explain on stream. This is what happens when we have competing products in the marketplace where something comes along, threatens the, the, the big monopoly, and then the big monopoly is like, ooh, we gotta do something new. We gotta give them more. We gotta give the players. So this is actually, this is really nice. This is really nice. We finally get the lighter freight. Finally. Okay, what do we have? Ancient Magic Shop Raid Improvement. This Raid Improvement... I don't know if I'm happy about it. Like, I mean, like, okay, it's better, but... I really wish we could just not get... Monostone drops from R5. Can we? Why? Why is that still a thing? We don't get only Monostones from dragons. We get crappy runes that we sell for Monostones. Now can we at least get the crappy... Crappy gems and crappy grindstones? And then we sell them for Mono... Any oh my god. At least maybe we get another blue... Violet grind every so often if we get the crappy even if we get more crappy ones At least it's something No, okay. Anyway uh, So uh, also I have the skills for uh, El Sharion. That's the uh, the light of freak I have the skills for him as well. So I'm gonna show the uh, the skills, but he's good He's a good arena offense monster. He's good. He does damage based on speed. We'll see it in a second though So we got this uh, ancient magic shop now this light of freak the way that they're I'm like winded from like moving around. The way- I'm not in good shape, shut up. Also, I just woke up. Um, so, Ancient Magic Shop. The way they're doing it is you can only get it from events. So there's this new Magic Shop. You go into the regular shop, uh, the regular special shop, and you see this Ancient Magic Shop, you go purchase there. Uh, you can get these Ancient Magic Shop- what are these called? Ancient Coins? Ancient Coins. So you get these from events from now on. This is how they get you. They want you to consistently play the game. If you only play, if you only log in, do nothing, you're not gonna be able to get El Sharion. So they want you to consistently do all the events, be very, very active participating in the events because you'll get more ancient, uh, ancient coins from doing the events and then trade them in for pieces for the Light of Freed. So we see here, uh, what kind of, uh, what the following items will be available for purchase. Light of Freed summoning piece, Summoning stone, reappraisal stone, six star legendary. Six star legendary. I mean, it still could be flat. Still be flat, two, four, six. Still could be flat. Still could be like resistance slot six. But six star legendary, they're giving more chances to get good runes, which is nice. Reappraisal stones are the most valuable things in the game, in my opinion. Summoning stones are alright. Uh, but Light of Freed, I think Light of Freed's gonna be something that definitely people wanna get. So they're gonna have to do. So if you wanna get the Light of Freed, you're gonna have to do all the events from now on, and they said uh, a little bit later, uh, introduce patients with acquired materials, blah blah blah, they're free to four attributes, are being actively used in Summoner's War, uh, many users see completing the Dark Attribute at the end of Summoner's War tutorial, uh, blah blah, the Dark Attribute is one of the most essential monsters for your game, but, uh, early game, early game he's great, but, um, a lot of questions I've asked about, uh, well, 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 how about, how about the why did you wait until now to release him? What about that question, come to us? What about that question? You don't want to answer that question. They, 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 they don't want to answer that question. They don't want to answer that question. Uh, so we see here, blah, 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 blah. Ancient points for events. I already said this. Uh, takes, okay, the, of course, um, the, the top of the screen. Of course, the time that it takes you to summon the Light of Freak may vary because you'll get a different amount of ancient coins depending on how much you participate in events, how many missions you complete. We carefully predict that it will take at least a few months to summon the Light of Freak. At least a few months. They want you participating for the next few months in events. They want to keep people playing for the next few months to get this Light of Freak. And I think they're, they're trying to keep people here for the meantime. And then I would say that when the Light of Freak comes, they're going to have another big update. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. There. This is to bridge the amount of time. This is to keep people playing until they release the new something. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's going to be the dimensional hole. But uh, but I think this is going to be... I think it's strategically, from a business perspective, that's what I would do. I'd keep people playing with that light of free. Like, okay, get, get that big payoff. Light of free. Keep doing the events. Light of free. Light of free. Light of free. 
and then they're like, okay, lady free, yay, here's also this thing. I think it could be dimensional. I would say, like, by the time people start getting the lady free, expect something else to come out. That's, that's my professional, my professional opinion. And then we have the prices here. Any other ways to acquire ancient coins? I don't think that they, they said no, right? Uh, at this moment, you'll be unable, however, considering other ways to acquire them in the future. But it's, you know, it's nice that, like, okay, you can't just, like, go crazy and, like, okay, I got the Light of Fruit right now immediately. Like, they want people to continue consistently playing. They're not really doing this for the money, they're doing this to continue to, like, to keep the player base playing Summoner's War. Um, then they have this, uh, this also, this raid buff. Uh, raid improvement, proceed, blah, blah, blah. So you can join, like, you can join raids while you're doing other stuff, like, you'd be farming giants, you'd be farming dragons, and then, like, you can say, okay, I want to join a raid, and it'll start working on, like, matching you up with the raid stuff, and then you get, and then after your run, like, if they, if they matched you up, then you can go to, uh, to the raids, is what, is basically what they're saying. So, it's just an easier way to, they still, you still get mana from it, you still get mana, but... At least it's a better, uh, it's a better thing so you don't have to just wait there in the raid screen doing nothing for a while. You're like, oh, okay, just waiting, just waiting, waiting. I'd like someone to come in and, uh, and, and, and raid with me. Nope, not gonna happen? Okay. So that's at least, that's at least a positive. But I still think, man, I still, can we stop with the mana? Can we stop? At least replace it with, like, rare grindstones. You don't have to replace it with, like, legendary stuff. But at least rare stuff is gonna give, like, early game, like, what's the point of, like, like, you get so, like, disheartened when you, like, do raids for, like, half an hour and you're like, man, I got one grind and everything else was mana and, like, one angel mon. Rainbow mon. Not angel mon. You can't get angel mon. Anyway, it's very disheartening. So, uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the actual skills. At the actual skills. So, this is the skills, uh, someone said, this is one of the people that, uh, that usually... Uh, does the data mining. So he already had this information uh, for a while that this has been in the game. Uh, Mega Smash, oh, his, uh... Yes, uh, Mega Smash is first skill, that's all Defreed's first skill. Uh, damage based on attack speed. Uh, those are the skill ups for it. This is, unless they change it, this is what it's looking like it is. Uh, triple Crush, attacks the enemy with a magic and weakens defense. So this is the same one as Theomar, same one as Thessarion. Uh, and then the third skill, Flash attack, and he's got the leader skill attack, uh, attack power of ally monster by 33%. If they gave him a speed leader skill, that would be, oh, that would be too OP, okay. that would be too OP. Okay. Uh, flash attack, uh, attacks all enemies with great speed, the damage increases according to attack speed. So, I'm thinking, this guy could be, and I like, I like his little comment at the end. It's funny though, when I asked in an interview, they said, if they were releasing, they said never. New game comes around and boom, they announce him. That's what he said, I said it too, but that's also what he said. So, interesting timing, isn't it? Isn't it, calm to us? Timing is curious, isn't it? Um, but anyway, I think this guy's great. He's element neutral. He's got AoE damage. This is a guy you pair up with, like... I'm, I want to say you pair up with Tiana, Galleon, boom, boom, big damage. Like, what do you even do with the Dark Dragon now? I'm sorry for the Dark Dragon owners. But, like, for stuff like that, like, what do you do with the Dark Dragon now? Anyway, anyway, you, you pair him up with them, and <laughs> like, oh, Jubega, so savage, so savage. Uh, Tiana Gal, oh man, you can pair him up with others, you don't even need Tiana Gal. Like, Bernard, he would pair up great with Bernard, he would pair up great with, man, he would pair up great with, uh, Hraysville, the win BK. Because you got that attack buff, and you got the speed buff, which is going to make him do, because he does damage based on, uh, attack speed as well. So, the more speed, the more attack, if you buff both of those up gonna give a lot of damage. I think, uh, Rage Blade, Rage Will, Speed Crit Damage Attacks is gonna be the best, uh, the best damage for him. Is gonna be the best, the best option for how to ruin him. But he's great, because there's a lot of things like Zyros, like Julie, things that I use, uh, for arena offense, and I have them Speed Crit Damage Attack, and they lose out on attack power because I need to have them speed tuned correctly, so I'm like, well, they need to be, like, 200 and whatever speed to, to not get cut in. And now it's like, oh, well, all that speed is not going away. The speed contributes to the damage. So it's really nice. And element neutral. So... Julie might get deruned. I don't know. Julie might... I mean, Julie will most likely get deruned for El Sharion. It's... it's some... I'm sorry, Julie. I'm sorry. But she, the El Sharion's element neutral. And he's going to do more damage than you. I'm sorry. Except for... 
Except for well, it's 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 three. It's three attacks though. It's three attacks because we it's three hits. Attack times three. So I mean he's gonna make short work of Leica anyway. Like Julie hits multiple times. He's gonna make short work of Leica anyway. It doesn't even matter. So it it legit doesn't. Uh, uh, he's a, he's just a, a better version of that. I mean like he's so good. He makes a lot of the Hall of Hero like a lot of Hall of Heroes monsters irrelevant too. He's just, he's a really good, he's a, Sharon's a really good monster. From what, from what I see here, El Sharon is a really good monster. A really good arena offense monster. Only thing is like, he's not Zyros, he doesn't cool down things. But, AoE, element neutral damage dealer, light damage dealer. He's pretty good, man. He's Theomars plus plus, like, he's just, he's good. He's like, hey, you, Theomars is good? Hey, camera is good? Let's give you... Element neutral AoE damage. That's amazing. <sighs> yeah, I mean, you know we have to grind to get him. You know we have to grind. I, I grind every. I grind all day, every day. Doesn't even matter. I grind nonstop anyway. But I'm just saying, this guy's gonna be. He's gonna be good. He's gonna be good. All right, guys. Anyway, I'm getting. I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, El Sharon coming to Summoner's Row. Finally! Curious timing, though. Curious, they'll, they won't comment. Comptress will never comment on that curious timing. Like, oh, he was in the works! Yeah, for years! For You had him sitting there ready to go for years. You were waiting for something like this, weren't you? Okay! He's like the, he's like the, ooh, he's like the response to some, yeah, whatever, whatever. Jubega, stop. Jubega, stop. Jubega, stop. But this is what I was saying earlier, when I was saying like, hey, it's good to have it's good to have competing products in the marketplace gives you like from from an economic standpoint gives you better products okay gives you better products uh, for for both things anyway that's it for this one hope you guys enjoyed it I gotta go and fart in in in, 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 in the fart zone I have a special fart zone in my farm I'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>